the not-so-colorful butterfly. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named The Not-So-Colorful Butterfly by Stacey Erich, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. Once there lived a not-so-colorful butterfly named Sunny. She hadn't started out that way. She began life as a colorful caterpillar, pea green and mustard yellow with black spots. Caterpillar smiling. She climbed trees with her caterpillar friends, May and June. Sunny loved climbing, and she loved munching on leaves, right after the rain when they were ripe and juicy. But what she loved more than anything was to tell stories. Her stories were full of adventure. Pirates, witches, wizards, brave heroes who fought dragons and princesses who spoke their minds. She loved to sit in her tree and weave tales to the other caterpillars, spinning a magical story web around them. She told them, in sun and shade, and by the light of the moon, caterpillars talking. Her friends loved to listen but agreed that Sunny was, well, strained. Or at least, different from them. Sunny dreamed of the day when they would spin into a chrysalis, beginning their transformations into butterflies. Sunny imagined her wings with rainbow colors sparkling in the sunlight. Caterpillar dreaming of being a colorful butterfly. One day, when the first spring buds were forming, Sunny curled into a candy cane shape, hanging upside down from a branch, and began to spin her chrysalis. Cocoon on a twig. After two weeks, Sunny popped out in excitement. She imagined how beautiful her rainbow wings must look. She flew down to a stream not far from her tree, peering into the water at her reflection. No! she gasped aloud. She couldn't believe her eyes. Staring back at her was a butterfly dark as night, with no bright colors. This was not what she had imagined at all. No, no, this would not do. What would her friends say when they saw her, butterfly shocked by reflection in water? She couldn't bear to find out. She lowered her head and flew high up in her tree. If only I could be a caterpillar again, she thought. The sun rose higher in the sky as she sat thinking all day, thinking so hard that she didn't even notice when the sun set in May and June perched down on a branch beside her. Wow, what big wings you have, May said. You look like the midnight sky, said June. We've missed your stories. Tell us one, please. Yes, tell us one, May echoed. Sunny hesitated. Did she really look like the midnight sky? She looked up at the dark blue sky above her, dotted with tiny stars. It was beautiful. Sunny let out a breath and began once upon a time. There was a not-so-colorful butterfly. As she spoke, she felt just like she had as a caterpillar, breathless, excited, full of adventure and dreams. Sunny smiled. She felt beautiful, just as she was. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.